Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Soviet Republic Workers and Resources. Yeah, I'm gonna say it backwards, whatever. I did. We got the roller here finish, finishing up an asphalt uh, road upgrade. Been doing a couple of these, and uh, in order to get them done faster, I've gone ahead and purchased a lot of vehicles for the construction office. So we basically have enough vehicles now to do three jobs at once uh, in each little capacity here. So, uh, you know, three of the bulldozers, three, uh, two pavers, and two rollers, because the asphalt's a little less common. I've been doing gravel roads and stuff, but yeah. I've also got a bunch of, uh, a bunch more plows. I'm gonna get one more, actually. I really wanna clear the roads off. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're still profitable. I think that's the most important thing in our wonderful Soviet Republic. We're still making money, although, you know, this is today, it's a new day, so whatever. But uh, yeah, 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 we're totally, we're, we're selling things, money's going up fast with the train, it's all good, it's all fine. Uh, oil's looking solid, although it is declining, so I need to address that in a little bit too. Probably because we're producing lots of power and we're finally, well, we were, never mind. I was gonna say we were pulling in uh, and creating a lot more oil, but yeah, not really, not anymore. Oh well. The thing is, this thing has its own internal tank and it can fill up to 450 tons. And uh, as soon as it then, you know, as soon as it goes down and depletes all of it, then it starts drawing off of this tank. So we've got to address this before it hits zero. Otherwise we lose power. So uh, I'd like to spend a little bit of time just real quick getting uh, this pump jack in order and getting that supply sent through. And uh, I've also got this road started as far as construction goes. They, uh, they haven't even started it yet actually. So I, I added it to the construction office, but it's pretty far away. So I'm not sure. Yeah, here it goes. They're on their way. It just takes a long, long time. Looks like we're also going to be plowing the mud roads. That seems like a real nasty job plowing mud roads. I almost feel like it's unnecessary, but oh well. Maybe I can tell them to do that, can I? Yeah, work efficiency, road type. Can you focus on the asphalt and gravel roads, please? Just, just try to get those taken care of before everything else. If we had any of these, then yes. If we had bridges, then yes, right? Things like that. All right, so we got some roads are upgraded, right? We've got this whole area here as asphalt so far. So that's nice. All the way to here at least, that's asphalt. And then uh, to this bus, and then this road here, we just saw at the start of the video, we were finishing. I gotta, I gotta get it all the way wrapped around here. And uh, then we can start getting some of this other stuff. It, it increases their movement range, right? I need to do that. Um, okay, so to make sure that we don't run out of oil, because it's declining pretty fast, uh, I think the first thing I need to do is I'm going to decrease how many workers are allowed to be here just temporarily. Really limit this so that uh, I can decrease production just enough. Hopefully just enough to where we don't draw as much off of this. And then what I can do is I can come over and try to get this pump jack hooked up. And that will add a 95% quality source uh, to this whole deal here. So to do that... I need to have it, it, the, the most expensive part of this is the pipes, of course. So let's go underground. And um, for this, I think I might go above ground. It's just this, like I'm not really using this area for anything else. So I think I can go above ground for this. I don't like the look of it. You'll see what I mean. Like the, the look of it is very different. But if I can get to like say 300 and so 12, I guess. Um, we're gonna build this all with rubles. And then uh, we're gonna have this. Same thing as uh, we always do over here. Good. And then we connect that and get the pipe hooked up to it. Uh, hang on. It's gotta be actually, it's gotta be built. So please build this. Uh, we'll use a little bit more dollars, I think, for that. I don't, I have some plans for rules. Go like. Almost. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, don't say say it isn't so. What? Oh, did I just do the... Oh, I did the underground one. Hang on, I might be able to solve this. No, I totally did the underground one. Well, uh, okay. I think I can solve this. It's 
That's that sucks. <laughs> uh, where is my? Why can't I select the pipe? I can't delete this. Hello? I can't delete this. What's going on? Hey, hey, game. This pipe, this above ground pipe. <laughs> That's why <laughs> it's an above ground pipe. Uh, let's back this off just a little bit. That's my mistake. I'm so used to clicking the other one that I just didn't bother. Um, I can bring this. Man, I was kind of hoping this would... Uh... Mm, no, it's going to have to be... It's going to have to be just redone. Ah, uh, what a waste. What a waste. Wrong one. Pipe, pump, pump, pipe pumping station. That's the one I want. And I want that to be right here. I just want it to be the above ground one, not the below ground one. Are you not deleting? What's going on here? Yeah, you're destroyed. Thanks. All right. Can I have the pipe pumping station? Por favor. Right here. Can you reach? Yes. Okay. Then we run you. Uh, I'm not going to be able to reach all the way. So we're going to need one more pumping station in order to reach there. All the way to about there. And stop. And then the pipe pumping station, not the underground one. I'll get this. Yep. We're building it with rubles. I think we're about to run out of rubles pretty quick here. Um, I'm going to have to build this last piece here with dollars. And get it all the way too long. Shit. All right. Well, we'll go as far as we can. $36,000. Yikes. Yeah, that's what it's going to cost. And then maybe we'll build the pumping station with rubles. Just trying to manage the... Uh, the currency is what we're about to run out. Like, this is it. We don't have any US dollars to fall back on after this, folks. <laughs> it's gonna be all over from here. And we put overlaps existing infrastructure. No, it doesn't. Right here. And then like that. Oh, this is another underground one. Of course it is, because that's that's what I did. I did the underground ones. That's duh. <laughs> Um, okay, so how do I mix above ground and underground? Because it wasn't letting me do it earlier, and now I'm thinking I can't do it. Unless I... I mean, I did it over there, didn't I? Maybe I... Oh, you know what it is? I bet if I go off of this... Okay, hang on. I think I just destroyed the... Nope, oh, not yet. This is a pump... This is a line removal tool. I want to go underground here. Can I do that? Okay, that'll let me do that then, fine. And then we connect to here. For 30,000 rubles, which is, well, more than I have, but I'm also earning at the same time. And then we're gonna build the power infrastructure for this with US dollars. Is it US dollars or is it NATO dollars, okay? I mean, it looks like a US dollar symbol, but I've also seen this symbol used, you know, like maybe it's Australian dollars, you know? Maybe these guys, maybe this is from Singapore. Maybe we're getting help from Singapore. I don't know. It's closer. Well, not closer than European nations, but European nations don't use that symbol for their money. So uh, I'm just saying. Let's, uh, let's take a look really quick. Is the pipe done? Okay, so it's gonna take a little bit more money to build it. And uh, I guess we just finish it with dollars. Make sure it's in. Okay, good, awesome. Now the power infrastructure for it. So we just need the substations, of course, and the substations are going to be here. Uh, where is the, the transformer? Transformer that I just made before, right here. So there's three outlets left. We'll just use all three of these. That was the reason why I made that. So we'll have it on this side then. And we're gonna go about like this, as far over as we can. That should work. And then we'll put another one right here to provide power to all of these three things. Okay, so I should, I think, see probably just these little ones, right? Let's do the, let's do this one, just be safe. We'll go here, this one will come across and hook up to this one. Okay, can these be pumped in all good and working now? Can that happen? Well, I'm gonna have to build them. 
you know, with the rubles that I don't have. USD. USD. Connect that up. Connect this up. And it looks like this needs built too. It's, yeah, slowly but surely being built. That one's getting built now like that. And then this line can be USD as well. All right, are we hooked up? I want to see this 90% source. There it goes. It's pumping. Operating without issues. And operating without issues all the way through to bring it into the existing piping network. Okay. So that's all done now. I spent all my money on oil again. Again, guys. Again. <laughs> I did it again. But look, now we're pumping fast enough to where it can come through here and also uh, hook up right into the oil. And I'm actually thinking here that I, I, I thought about this earlier, right? I said this earlier, but to have one of these pumps that I've got going on, these, um, I think it's this one, this is the underground pumping station, right? To have one of these switched over to be a splitter instead of a merger, and then have the splitter provide directly to the oil refinery, because the oil refinery has an intake uh, that's in addition to this one. I think it can go in at two different locations. And, uh, yeah, so we're only using the one. We can use the other one and then have oil being provided directly as well. And then that means that it can have its own source. So it's not pulling off this quite as fast. And then therefore it's more likely that we have this. I thought about doing that, but then I thought it doesn't seem, I could be wrong, but it doesn't seem like the pipes have a maximum flow rate. At least I don't, if it does, then I don't see it listed. And if that's the case, well, then, you know, I mean, I guess maybe it does. Hang on. Um, amount of transported per second, 0.561 tons, okay? So 0.561 tons. This one over here is 0.222 tons, um, you know, 0.225 tons, right? So it's like, they don't, I don't know if this is a maximum or not, 0.114 tons. Let me take a look really quick over here. This one's transporting 0.45 tons. So I don't know if I'm hitting the maximum or not. Um, I guess the only way to tell would be to add up all these, right? Let's maybe do some math here. If I look at the pump jacks, this is producing 6.45 tons of oil per day. All right, this is per day. And it looks like maybe if that's if this is the oil it's producing per day, I have to like divide it up into I don't know seconds or something. This one's doing right per sec. Per, this is uh, per second, and this is per workday. So I I don't know. I don't know how to really factor that in and what the maximum flow rate for pipes is. If there is a maximum flow rate for, for pipes, then there's no alternative pipes. So there's only one one size. But it would mean that a splitter here might be a good idea because I might be maxing out the flow rate of this intake and then therefore splitting it out would allow us to pump more. Again, I don't see that as a thing. So right now we're currently growing in the tank as well as in the, uh, the oil here uh, for the refinery, which in turn should allow us to produce more. So if I take and add more workers as a capacity here, um, hopefully that means we'll produce more. Okay, citizens health is always bad in these rural areas. I've got hospitals, I've got fire department with trucks, I've got shopping centers with even with electronics in it. Uh, I've got a bus station so they can get into the city and work if they'd like to. Um, that's not the bus station. This is a gas station, uh, which I have uh, gas being brought into or fuel being brought to. Although it looks like it's, wait, why are you loading bitumen? Did I click the, Oh no, did I click the wrong one? I clicked this one, it's fuel. Your route is to go to storage two for fuel, but somehow you have bitumen? Why? Uh, I need you to dump your cargo. Can you just discard that seven tons of bitumen? That's, that's money. We're gonna spill it all over the road? Yeah, I am, because that's easier. So you should be able to go to this station, load fuel, please. I guess I have to designate that. I didn't think I needed to because this specific storage area is only having fuel. So I didn't think I needed to designate that, but I, I guess I'll go ahead and do that and make sure. 
And then it should be bringing fuel to here so we can, you know, satisfy it for the bus routes and all those other types of things. Uh, there's just so many messages down here. New vehicle type available. It's 1961. Your comrades from a nearby, from the nearby very free People's Republic <laughs> introduce a new type of vehicle to the market available now for purchase using rubles. Yes. Uh, so as the years go on, more and more vehicles become accessible to us, right? We were kind of locked to the, to the era that we're in. And uh, I've also took a look from the very free Republic of peoples. Uh, I've been uh, looking at this and um, I realize overwhelming. I I'm almost 99% sure somebody has mentioned it multiple times. Uh, multiple people have mentioned it. But again, I'm recording way in advance because I, I want to avoid backseat gaming on this. I want to learn this on my own. Um, the uh, I'm certain that somebody's told me already the church. You can't provide a church. You can't build a church. So I didn't really think about this because I'm not from a Soviet country. Uh, I didn't really do a whole lot of research on it, to be honest. Um, it's like they have a religious need, but the uh, the Soviet the Republic does not like religion. <laughs> it doesn't like you to you know worship other things, right? You're you're just you're with the state, right? So the need will be there, but you can't provide it. So you need to distract them with other things. And uh, what I'm thinking about doing, 105 people have radio, right? And what we could do to make them happier is, and, and this is gonna be expensive because I don't have the money to do it, but what you can do is uh, you get a radio station and then you can put out anti-religious propaganda on the radio. And uh, anyone with a radio could potentially hear that and, you know, their need for spirituality will go down, right? And that's really the only need I'm not satisfying is their need for a place of spirituality. Now, there is, of course, some of these pre-done regions where there's a church. And for sure, these guys are all rushing into it because they can satisfy that need. And if I was to provide a bus station or something over here and connect this up, then some of my citizens would take a trip down and, and go into the church. That that can happen. Um, but in the meantime, the people who have radios, we they could hear our in our radio station, right? And same thing with a television station too, I think. If they have televisions, you can put out propaganda and you could put out messaging, state-sponsored messaging that kind of mitigates that a little bit. And um, that's kind of the, the idea. What's this? Global market report. The price of iron ore on the global market rises up. There are several suspicions that this change can continue for several for a couple of months. So iron. I want to do that, but I also want to do wood and sawmill and ah, uh, what to do, what to do. I don't know. I think what I should do also, since I'm making more fuel. Oh my gosh, the bitumen is getting creamed, man. Did we just do a big shipment of that? Not that big of a shipment. Yeah, is in any case, I'm exporting all this stuff, so that's that's how I'm making most of my money. So I'm gonna play this a little bit longer. I know I kept saying this, but I wanted to chime in kind of before the winter ended, and also fix the winter, fix the heat problem, because that was like a big thing last video. So I think what's happening here, I'm gonna pause it just real quick, just to kind of, well, I guess it's not really helping. I was gonna say to prevent the snowflakes from messing up my video recording, but I guess it's not really helping. So um, the this is producing 1050 cubic meters, all right? So 1050 cubic meters, if I send it off to this station, or this station here, we, this um, heating pump station can only facilitate 300 meters squared cubed. Wow. So it's volume, okay? 300 cubic meters of the, uh, the heating water, right? Water heated or whatever, right? So I'm sending this off to here where it's using up to 300 cubic meters, right? So this is almost irrelevant, except for the fact that it's it's because it's sending it here. And this is pulling 161 of it, which means there's not enough available after that to bring it to the other heating station, which is trying to pull 158 of it. So these two are pulling 100%. And that means that this station down here, it doesn't have any. Like, it's it's got 43, but it needs more, right? Like, I feel like it just doesn't have enough. So what I have to do is I'm going to change this up just a little bit. We're going to have this pumping station still be a splitter. 
I still want that splitting, but instead, um, what we're going to do here, these are the 100 meter ones, right? These lines, I can't tell the difference. It looks like, this looks like the 300 lines, but so does this. The 100 lines are usually a single pipe, I thought. Well, no, it does look like it's, they're just a smaller pipe, which I can't really visually see underground. Well, maybe it's because it's just underground pipes. In any case, this, I think we're going to have this be a splitter uh, that goes off in two different directions. And then we need this to be on its own thing. Um, so it might be challenging to do because we have this positioned in front of it. Um, one other solution would be to just... See, I, I want to use the existing pipelines because I've already paid for them. So how much does it cost for this... Uh, pumping station it's only 3,000 rubles that's not that bad I could I could deal with I could deal with rebuilding this so I'm gonna rebuild this we're gonna take the heating the heating pumping station we're gonna demolish it we're gonna take the piping right here and we're just gonna kind of pull this back a little bit just to give me some flexibility on where these pipes are going and uh, to that end this 300 meter heating pipe is gonna go nope underground yep is gonna end up right here straight in here i think yeah and then i'm gonna have to go around for the other one but that's okay so we're gonna pull this one back pull this one back okay then we're gonna put a regular old pumping station right over here on this side uh this ought to do as long as it goes around that heat pipe so it's gonna go about like this and then we can pull this pipe back even more I realize I'm wasting money. That's just how it goes. Okay. Um, so this is gone now. At least it should be. And um, what we're going to have is a 100 meter pipe, heating pipe that goes off this direction. Some other infrastructure is in the way. Really? You don't say. Really? What is? Oh, don't do this again. Game. Some other infrastructure is in the way. I don't see any other infrastructure in the way. I want to go down this way, please. Can I just... All right, tell you what. We'll go this way, then. It's underground, so whatever. We'll go this way. And then we'll pull this back. I guess the other infrastructure is in the way. Uh, and then we'll take this heating pipe and we'll connect it to here. Oh, come on. What is going on here? What is going on here? I have to relay this whole pipe. I'm going to have to. I think I'm going to have to make the whole pipe again. Is it just the road? Because I laid this before, like under the road. That's where I wanted it. It was under the road. But it doesn't look like it's going to let me do under the road anymore. That's really strange. I really didn't want to do this all over again. This, the pipe was already built. Oh, man. That's, that's so unfortunate. Yeah, I'm going to have to go all the way back. It won't let me go under the road again? Why? Yeah, it's already there, but I can't I can't expand it. Oh, that sucks. All right, all the way back. I guess I'm wasting all that cash. Yeah, wow, that sucks really bad. It, I mean, does it mean I have to... That's so weird. Okay, all the way through and connect to there. Okay, now we have to pay for that. It's expensive. Not excited about it, but it's uh, it's hooked up, right? So now this can pull the same. I mean, it said it needed a hundred and. This is a small heat exchanger. It said it needed a hundred, but I'm already giving. I'm only giving it a hundred. I'm only gonna give it a hundred. Uh, and then we need the the big one, the thick one, right here. We need the heat pipes, the 300 meter. We go right alongside this again, which is expensive. It's so expensive. The heating is so expensive. I don't even know if I should do it anymore, honestly. Like, should I even bother with it? Is it worth even bothering with it? Oh, really? What is this other infrastructure in the way? 
What in the world is going on here? The existing... I should be able to connect to existing stuff. Why not? It's right there. It's... It's right there. That's so weird, man. I don't understand. All right. In any case, uh, yeah. So we're providing heat now for everybody in the main city, but the one over there no longer has any heat at all until I get some rubles that can facilitate a really long heating pipe, I guess. That's a lot of money. This is why we need to uh, have our own stuff, right? The 47,000 rubles is what this is going to cost. That's going to take a while, but I'm going to I'm going to commit to the resources for that. And then I might I might let it build a little bit and then try to finish it with with dollars just to keep people warm. I don't want people to, you know, I might finish it with dollars once it's laid in. Yeah, it's going to take a bit, man. The whole thing, how much does it cost with dollars if I want to do the whole thing? 30,000. Okay, commit it. Just just do it. And then that should give me enough to heat this. Is it really only needing this much? Maybe I don't fully understand how heat works in this game. Because I feel like I've overspent on what heat should be here. Especially this part here where it would not allow me to place the line under the under the road. Despite the fact that I had placed it under the road before. So, very bizarre. This can handle 300. It should be... Yeah, it's going up. It, it should be producing a lot more. I think it might have something to do with workers. Perhaps we're not... Like, we need to produce more. We need to have more workers. This is the 1050 maximum, right? So with maximum production, we should be producing this much. So I think we just need to produce more. We need more workers. But like, why isn't it producing closer to maximum? There's, I mean, there's not a full workforce, but it's certainly more than this. The only thing I can think of is that it's only producing up to what it needs, which is fine. Uh, except that would mean that this is getting what it needs, um, which means all of this should be getting what it needs. And no one lives here. <laughs> I clicked a house that no one lives in. Wow, nobody lives here either. Did they all die? Is that how it happened? Okay, I think maybe the heating is working now. I don't see any buildings complaining. I think we're good now. It's one degree C outside. If I take a look at the... Building properties. Yeah, everything is good now. Okay. So maybe I do understand the heat. I just don't feel comfortable with my understanding. But everything is, is warm now. Okay? It's all good. Fix the heat problem. Maybe after some people died from, you know, being cold. I guess it's possible. Yeah. Are you... Oh, wait a minute. Wait, are you just... Is it just me or does it look like coal is falling out of that? Maybe it's... Wait, why is coal falling out of this? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so is this like a storage thing? Like, this is our storage and it's coming down here and getting sucked up? That's a bit inefficient, right? I don't know. I'm just going to let that go. All right. Let me uh, play on a little bit. I want to save up some money. <laughs> Jeez. I never have money, man. Uh, I would like to... Save up some money and then maybe start looking at food because we're going to start being able to farm soon. It's the 21st of February. I believe in early March is when we can start sowing the fields again. So I want to get that going. And it, I don't think the field really takes any money to place. So I can place the larger fields. I'm going to place another one. Oh, speak of the spring. Look at that. The snow's going away. Nice. Now that I've solved the heating problem. <laughs> what heating problem? <laughs> uh, we'll go like this. Yeah, I, I kind of want to keep the... Yeah, yeah. Keep the, the interchanges to a minimum here. Intersections. 
it doesn't matter because I'm going to have to go around this pump anyway. And then we'll flip this over and we're doing really big fields now, right? And I can't do it lined up because of my the grid and how I built it initially, so whatever. We'll go like that. And then we'll go like that. And we'll go like this. Okay. So those are big, 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 big fields. Lots and lots and lots and lots of crops. We're going to need a lot more grain storage than this, probably. But I want to use the supply as well. So it's, we're not going to store all of it. We're going to hopefully be using a bunch of it. And uh, I want to get going with livestock and, and all that stuff, too. So, uh, yeah. Let me play on for a little bit. Most likely, we'll start sowing the fields here pretty quick. And uh, I want to get like livestock farm and all this stuff. I want to pay for this. I want to get this up, but it's 48,000 rubles. So uh, let me let me just continue this really quick on my own, and I'll be right back. All right, I've been letting it run for a few days here, trying to earn some money here. We've got the livestock farm. It's all done. It's all built. And we're just going to go ahead temporarily for this. We're just going to go ahead and have it purchase stuff like automatically uh, so that it can continue to work and give us livestock. So uh, it's just going to get crops imported. We're just going to pay for it for a little bit because we're kind of out of it, right? We used it all up with the distillery and stuff over the winter, so we don't really have any more in storage. We do have, however, these two fields being sowed. So uh, we're doing four at a time with four tractors. I've kind of expanded that a little bit. And then we have these four fields as well that are also going to be worked on. And I think I would like these roads to, uh, to get upgraded. Uh, just to like help the tractors move just a little bit faster here. Uh, I'm gonna pay for this because I would shut down my every, I would shut down everything if I didn't. So let me just upgrade this really quick. Yep, just with rubles is fine. Just little little gravel roads. There we go. I don't actually know how far I went there. Oh, I went all the way out there. Well, <laughs> uh, hang on, stop. Uh, cancel construction. There we go. We'll just finish that on our own now. Yeah, there we go. All right, uh, and that takes care of gravel to all these things. Well, almost. It almost takes care of gravel to all these things. There. Okay. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to provide a gas station, I think, in this area as well. Because when these tractors are done with the fields, they're going to move to the nearest gas station, refuel, and then work on their next thing. It's not vital right now. I think with these eight fields, this one gas station probably takes care of it. Especially if I do that, just to make sure they get in there and can work with it, okay? Uh, but as we move this way and get more agriculture going, potentially, uh, we're going to need another gas station over here, just so the tractors don't have to go super far to get where it needs to go. Because they don't return to the agro farm or anything, and they don't move from field to field. They always do a job, then they get fuel, then they queue up and, and do another job, so. Okay, over here, livestock, right? That's happening. And it's, uh, it's working well. Okay, we've got uh, started up here, but we're gonna want a slaughterhouse soon. So once we get to like maybe half full on livestock, maybe a little bit of there, we'll go ahead and build the slaughterhouse to get started making our own meat. And uh, this is going to be funded with just 36,000 rubles to get that done. In the meantime, I've also got these. I, I kind of reworked a little bit about where these are located and I might consolidate these even further in the future, but um, the fact that these have to connect. The reason I had needed so many junctions was because I wanted all the buildings to kind of be on the same network and all to converge and meet with the, with, with the warehouse, right? And in order to do that, well, I have to kind of merge them in. With these paths, you have to connect them to something. You can't like, it's not like a road where you can go partial and then turn. Uh, you, you have to connect them. They won't. It won't let you place them any other way. So like, for example, if I wanted to move it here and then cut across to here at a different angle. It won't allow me to do that. I have to, you know, like I can't go here and then move into here. It won't let me. I have to connect it to something else. So in order to curve the roads the way I wanted to have everything connected, I needed these little junction points because it will let me connect there. I'm really tempted to put the food factory right here because it's large and then it gets into the warehouse and then the warehouse takes it to this. I still haven't figured that out. I know I keep talking about it, but I still haven't figured out exactly how I want this to play out. 
for the food over here, um, meat storage, this little tiny meat storage here. Um, so I thought about maybe we could do it. We could do it like this. Because right now this path is currently connected here directly, but extra meat storage. I mean, we can still, we're not going to be able to store meat in here, right? So this connection is kind of useless. I think, yeah, because we're not going to be able to store meat there anyway. And I think the food factory is going to use the meat. So um, what might need to happen instead is the meat, the meat uh, storage is going to have to be somewhere else. Hmm. This makes me think I might want this somewhere else, the slaughterhouse. We could put the slaughterhouse. How big are you? The, you're so big, right? You're so big. But if I put you right up against the track, I'm I'm thinking out loud here, but if I put you right up against the track, which I'm going to have to adjust. I want several tracks here anyway, but um, need a little bit of space, I guess, for more tracks. But if I do that right about here, uh, yeah, like this, that doesn't leave any room for tracks. Hmm. Well, now, here's an idea. If the food factory is on this side of the tracks, one of these inputs could be taking it in from that slaughterhouse right there. Like, we can bring that, like this, over to about here. But like, hypothetically, if we were to do it, like... Well, then I don't have the output for... Well, it had to be this way. Ah, uh, okay. Tell you what, this road is not useless, but it's not never used. I'm gonna delete this temporarily, just to kind of see what the spacing looks like for this. So we're gonna take the food factory, and if I flip it around this way, mm, it would have to be do the plans I want to do. I think I almost have to do it this way, right? If I put this food factory right behind this, okay? I think this gives me enough flexibility. Say like right here. To make the food, can't place it here due to infrastructure. Is it? It's just the train tracks. We're gonna move those, right? So, if I placed it here, would I be able to get, it's all hypotheticals, but would I be able to get one of these factory connections to it over here, like that, and then the warehouse connection to the other one, and then, then there's the one in the front that goes here. And then the whole process doesn't need any trucks. That was the whole plan. I, I, the whole process needs no trucks to carry anything. No, no trucks to carry the grain, no trucks to carry livestock, to meat processing, to food factory, to shop. The whole thing from, aside from the raw product, right? Aside from, from crops, you, you need trucks to, to haul the crops. There's no way around that. But once it gets into here, once it gets into the grain farm, right? Or the, the silos. From silo to shopper's hands, no trucks, right? That's what I was hoping for. And that would, that would apply to all products, including the distillery and the alcohol to the warehouse, which could then feed it to the shopping center. But I guess that doesn't happen. So the distillery is an exception because they can't put it in the shopping center. I can put it in the pub. But the pub doesn't have a factory connection. So that has to be done that way. Um, but aside from that, and, and one thing we could actually do to maybe help on the logistics a little bit would be to move this distillery over in this area once we have access to this, because this can store alcohol and can store crops, I mean. And so we could have the distillery making things here. And then it's just a short drive to, you know, the pub. So it's, it's like one of these things where I'm thinking uh, my, my, my evolution here, my, my thought of how to design this whole process, it, it's evolving over time as I see how certain things work and don't work, right? Okay, we just got this built. Very nice. I'm digging it, man. I, I I like this. I can't do the bus stops myself yet because we still don't have steel. 
But everything else, I mean, aside from I got like, concrete, but I need I need coal in order to get concrete going. So I've kind of just decided I'm gonna buy concrete for a while and steel and all the other resources that I can't do myself yet. But I mean, like a lot of this stuff is expensive to make, and we're just able to do it with our own resources. And that's I think the only reason we're staying alive right now, because you know money's tight. I'm not exporting to, to the U.S. I could be. I don't know exactly what I could send them that would be of value, because um, selling in rubles is, I think, more valuable to me, just because I can buy so many other things with it. Um, hmm. Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to think of where I want all these things to be and to configure this. So I might need to play around for a couple of in-game months just to sort of let this go and, and, t and tinker with things a little bit. I actually think I'm going to cancel this construction temporarily. And uh, we can we can finish it later, but I, I think I'm going to cancel it temporarily just so I don't invest any additional resources in it right now. Although I've already put the resources into it, haven't I? Yeah, I kind of already have. Because I've already laid the asphalt and everything. So if I'm going to... Ah, whatever. Just let it go. Sure. Um... I think the next thing to do, though, is saving money and then getting this train track to be in a different location. That's what's got to happen right now. If I had to do it over again, in hindsight, I would say Depot and this stop would be located over here. And this track, refueling station, it would all be over here. Right, it would be out of the way here. Uh, and then the pipes to get it and feed this would just be underground like all my other pipes. And it would just take it underground all the way where it needed to go, right? But to redo that right now, what does that cost me? If I was to do that, what would that cost me? The fuel unloading, and if I was gonna do it with rubles really quick. So this is 22,000 for this. Um, the train depot is another 27,000. And then, of course, I would be... I guess I wouldn't necessarily have to relay a whole lot of track. The refueling station could stay. Because it would just be a line that kind of comes off here and then refuels and then goes back. I wouldn't need this part. And then I wouldn't need to bridge and all this. And it, all the complications that are going with that could go away. The only difference would be that these two tanks would now be feeding it with a long line. And I'm actually curious as to whether or not that line is too long. Would I need... Like, hypothetically, if I was doing this... I just want to see the distance. Can I... Can I see the distance? I want the distance. Um, so, let's... let's like, we'll go off of here as a reference. So, add... I don't know. Add, like, this long. So, add another... I guess 50 meters on top of this. But hypothetically, if we were to bring it over here, could it work? Yeah, it'd have to be here. Unless I want the pumps. I'm trying to avoid making the extra pumps, right? That would be the only way. I would either need those stations to be right here, or I need pumps maybe here to then get it over to this area. But it would be cleaner, right? It'd be a lot cleaner. If this whole thing here could go away, it'd be cleaner. And then you might say, why, why not move the tanks too? Uh, well, I mean, we could do that, but then I still have to pipe it because this is feeding these directly too. So, uh, yeah. Let me check this really quick. Oh, we're good. We are good. Yep. Um, we can increase max workers here a little bit. We are exporting power too. This whole time we've been exporting power. We should have been. Yeah, exporting max power potentially. Right now, 16 megawatts. Very nice. So uh, we're getting money for that too. That's a lot of our a lot of our income is that. But we're filling up on fuel. We're not really keeping up with the bitumen. Uh, I have been using asphalt quite a bit though, and this thing sucks that down pretty fast once you start using the bitumen. Uh, once you start using asphalt, so. But I do like this though, like the fact that this tank can provide resources to this. That's awesome. And I should have done the same thing with this whole train setup to go this way, right? It's the same thing. Just a different direction. I might actually end up doing that instead. Because like when I factor in how much it's going to cost me to relay this track 
and you know to kind of like tinker around with all the space and trying to make it work with this train track being elevated i just feel like it's going to cost me more than 50 grand to do that and that's what this costs these two things together are 50 grand but then the pipes to bring it out there is probably another 50. so like is that a hundred thousand dollars worth to me or do i just raise this track you know i feel like i just raise the track yeah with 70 with 74 000 rubles i think i could probably do that now too just to sort of see what that would look like so if i was to do that i guess i'd need to do it uh maybe i do it after this train leaves although i'm going to be paying rubles for it and now the train is off loading so i'm getting more money maybe we try that out then I wouldn't have to redo the routes either. So let's eliminate this whole area here. We're not going to have more than one train doing this anyway. Uh, so for that reason, I don't need this track either. I can get rid of this track. Yep, the, the whole junction can go. It can just be here. Uh, and then we're paying with rubles to do that. Yep, and then it goes on this side. Right, it's going to come off of this side, not that side. So uh, this can go too. And then uh, what we're going to need is this bridge. Um, and I don't know which one to make. Build truss bridge. It's just this regular railway bridge, I think. But I want it raised up. So it's going to have to go up about like here, I guess. I mean, it should be that should be sufficiently high enough, I think. That's 19,000 rubles to do that. Whoa. Whoa, that's expensive compared to 2,000. Yikes. Now that changes the game a lot, actually. That changes my decisions, I think, here. Because this bridge, in order to raise it up and do it sufficiently, is going to have to be long. Like, it needs to be probably... Well, this is 32,000 right there. I still think it's cheaper to make the bridge than it is to rebuild these things and repipe them all the way out, especially with pumps. I still think it's I still think the it's expensive, but the bridge is cheaper. So we raise this up and it gets even I think it gets more expensive because I'm raising it up too. It does just a little bit. So uh, I think we go up about this high. We're definitely not going to build this with rubles right now. I want to see I want to see it exemplified in all of its glory before I commit. So we'll go about here with it, I guess. Let's, um, you know, remaking this track is not that much of a burden. And then this bridge is most likely going to be... Well, if you're going to refuel the train, how am I getting back on? I don't know. The bridge would have to come down around here, I think. So, because I need, I need the food fat. I need whatever I'm putting over here to be working with this and all that, too. So, um... I would have to go about like this. Oh, no. Really? Wait, can I, can I angle it? Can I not angle this? Huh? Oh no, I can't make an angled bridge. It's gotta be a straight line. Angle of connection is too sharp. Oh, that changes everything, doesn't it? It sure does. Hmm. Okay, let's try this. This is why we uh, didn't build it yet. Let's try this. We'll take the wooden track. And... Uh, I guess we're going to go about like this. About here. Right? Uh, I want to go less. Yeah, maybe here. And then we wrap it around. Let's say this way. Right? Now it can be straight. Right? Now it can be a straight line, hopefully. That's pretty straight. So then we raise it from here. We raise it up like... Uh, I need it to go faster. I need it up there faster than this. I think I do anyway. Kind of depends on whether or not it's going to let me 
put the forklifts and stuff underneath this, which I would hope it does, but I don't know that. And then we're going to, yeah, we take it to probably about here. Well, it's going to have to, hmm, how am I going to hook up the fuel? I'm going to have to move the fuel depot. What does it cost to build a fuel depot? Diesel station. If I'm building the diesel station with rubles, it costs 8,000. That's not that bad. I can move that up forward more. That's not a big deal. Uh, wait, did I just... I did. Hang on. Oh, no. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Don't you dare. Not right now. No, no. We're not building you. We're just in the planning stages, okay? We're not building you yet. And uh, we'll take the bridge from here. Yeah, we'll have to stretch it this direction. And we go till about here, I think. Is pretty much where I'd need it. I don't know what that would cost. Uh, it looks like 44,000 rubles for this section. And for this section, it would be what? If I paid for it, 18,000. So we're up to 60 grand here, plus this. And then we come down. If it lets me do that, we come down. And we meet up with... Oh, you're already angling down. That's already not what I wanted, though. All right. I think this gets more expensive. Yeah, so you should be like this. Yep, stay up in the air, please. And then also the posts have to be in a convenient place too. So like the ex the exits, if I'm gonna come out of the factory connections, okay, there is no factory connection here. So I can get underneath this, hopefully. It looks like it's gonna allow that. So that's nice. And then uh, it'll allow this, hopefully too. I have to see that be allowed. It looks like it's allowed. It's close. I, I need that to be allowed too, unless I'm going no. Okay, maybe I need to adjust this to where the posts... I mean, it kind of looks like it wants to, like right there. But I think it's just too low. I'm going to play around with this. <laughs> I'll, uh... Now you know the process. I'll be right back. Alright, this is what I've come up with. It's a little rough. But it has, like, the best of both worlds. In the sense that it gives me the bridge, goes over top... And it also does not require me to move this fuel station. I'm able to fit it in just enough. Because this is not a network connection, uh, I just, you know, just discovering that, I, uh, like this little network here, I don't have to worry about being too low here. So I've gone ahead and just like planned this out to where basically we're gonna see the posts in the right spot. And I did that with basically planning out some train tracks right here in hopes that that would allow me to basically reserve the space and force the game to place posts around it. So that's kind of how I tried to do that. So if I was to remove these planning tracks right here and uh, be careful how I click here. If I was to do that, I should be able to get these network connections underneath. Now I can get this one easily and that's really important. Um, that's probably all I need really is just the one because I can always put one of these down and create two connection points, which allows resources to move freely between, you know, the grocery store from the food factory, as well as from the food factory back to the warehouse. So like all that stuff is really kind of done. And, uh, so this train track here is going to cost me a, quite a bit. This segment plus this segment is about 21,000 rubles combined. Uh, and then the current planning infrastructure that's laid out in white here is another 44,000. But that 60 grand, I think, is less than repositioning a lot of this other stuff. And it lets me have, you know, it lets me have a track here. It lets me have refueling here and um, potentially have cargo happening right here. I, I kind of, I, the more I think about it, the more I kind of want cargo stations here to haul other goods. 
And uh, like, so I'm kind of trying to stay away from this area because I think I'm actually gonna end up having additional tracks and stuff. This road might even get completely moved and, and pushed over this way. Maybe match up with here instead. But like, I'm trying to think ahead in that, in that way. And also the train is probably coming soon. So I think I'm gonna let this run. And I think I'm gonna let this build and it's a risk, but uh, I think I'm gonna commit the resources to it and we'll see what happens. So let's go. Let's just let this build out and we should have them all good now. The train should be able to reach its destination now. We should see uh, this thing not complain. That's what I wanna make sure I can see here is whether or not the train is gonna complain about there not being a, a way or not being a path to where it needs to go. No, nope, it looks like it's gonna go. Okay, cool. So there we go. This whole nonsense is done. We've got a bridge that's gonna allow me to pass something underneath this, which means now I can get the slaughterhouse operational for meat. I can get the food factory going and connect it up where it needs to go here. So let me just take a look really quick at the food factory. It takes crops and produces food. So the meat. Ooh, wait a minute. Did I get this wrong? No, I didn't. I, I, I did this right. This is going to produce meat and then it's going to ship it off this way. Let me, I, I got it. I'm just not explaining it properly. Let me show you. All right. I had to shuffle some stuff around. Admittedly, it didn't quite match up with where I wanted it, but I still made it work. Just had to make a quick adjustment to this little bridge that we have here. Extend it just a little bit more this direction. Uh, and then I'm able to get the pads exactly where I want them. So we have the slaughterhouse here. This is the workflow, okay? The workflow is going to happen. And it's it's in place. Let me show you. Crops, harvest, bring it to here. Grain, silos, whatever. Probably going to have several of them, honestly. Probably have them all on this side of the road here, too. Although that kind of defeats the purpose of this. So, again, I think I'm pretty sure this road is moving. Uh, but anyway, we got that. Then the crops can either go to the distillery, we make alcohol, it goes over to the livestock where we can, you know, do the meat thing, we get livestock. We send it off to the slaughterhouse where we can make meat. Then the meat with a factory connection goes all the way around and connects to this point here, which can either go, um, well, actually it's gonna be more like this point here, but we're gonna send it to the grocery store as meat, right? It can go directly there. So again, no trucks, or we're gonna send it off to long-term storage for meat or bigger storage for meat, which can go over here on this side pretty easily with a road connection there. So I'll just, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now. Put it about here, I guess. Yeah. And this is all planned, right? We're not actually building this stuff right yet. And um, we can just go ahead and connect it to a road. Well, I can redo this. I'll redo this to get this to be on a road. It's fine. This, this is a pretty cheap redo, especially since this is just heat. We don't even need heat right now, so I can always re-envision where that's going to be. But we have heat, more meat storage here, so we can store it longer term. If the store runs out, it can go ahead and grab more, right? Easy. Then we have this, the food factory. This is going to create food and send it off to um, the grocery store, but it can also direct itself you know, right on this little path here and it can go off this way, which will then have the food meeting up with uh, the small warehouse. So we would then end up having it be something more like this, yep. And it can connect off to the warehouse now. And then uh, all of this stuff happening, we're gonna need even more forklifts. That's just that's just a fact of life right there. So uh, we're gonna have more forklifts also put in, and I might actually do that off right here, like, uh, eh. We need road connections for this stuff though, right? It says we need road connections, but do we really? Yeah, we probably do for workers and stuff. Well, this can connect here. That's not a big deal. I suppose if we're gonna do forklifts, we could have them uh, connect to the road over here too, I suppose. So uh, I guess additional forklifts could go, uh, I want it on this side, I guess. So if we did it here, there has to be a way to get it on the tracks to, to go this way, right? It can't just be a direct. It has to be through. So I think actually the forklift path needs to go around. I didn't even actually think of that. Nope, we're gonna have we're gonna have two forklifts. 
<laughs> it's going to be on this side. Just so these ones will handle all this stuff, and then these four will handle all this stuff on this side of the tracks. So uh, we'll go... There's a road right there. Yep, that's really it. There's a road right there. So uh, we can hook this up to, I guess, here. With the forklift garage. And then we just hook this up to the road. Done. All right. That's our entire food. All our food systems would all be in check there. They would all work. They would all be doing glorious things. And no trucks. No trucks from grain to customers' hands. No trucks. We have excess storage for grain. We can add more of these silos. They're pretty cheap. And uh, we can also add meat storage. We can have the livestock storage, right? So if we have, if we make too much livestock, which we're, we're going up there now, so we can think about the, the slaughterhouse right now, actually. Let's fund this. Get the, get the, the livestock started, or the slaughterhouse started. Um, if we need to store excess for uh, the livestock, then what we can do is... We can grab it's this here. Nope, it's the livestock range. So I've uh, I've eliminated one of these tracks, and I'm hoping that by doing that, I'll be able to get this in there. And if I can't, I, again, I can just oh look at this. This is an issue. I can fix this issue. We're gonna take this track away. Oh, okay, I guess not. Yep, we're gonna take this track away as far as it'll let me anyway. Should be good enough. Yeah, okay, so the, the train's there, so I can't do anything with it right now. But if I was to instead take the tracks and go like this instead. Yeah, I can remove this now. Give me a second. No. Just the tracks, thank you. I want this to be as sharp as it can go. Like that and then hopefully that's out of my way now let's uh let's go ahead and have that built real quick i'm hoping that that's out of my way that's as sharp as i can go so if it's not on my way then it is what it is but i want it to be here come on glorious be glorious it does fit but it doesn't connect with uh oh it's like an either or situation hold on what about this way Come on, can I have this? Don't make me move the road. Don't make me move the road. Maybe it angled? It's so close. It's so close. <laughs> There's the spot. It will work. It's right here. It will work. It happens. It's, it's perfect. There's nowhere else it can go. So we have a uh, extra livestock storage right there, right here, right? And um, that just meets up with the rest of this whole place. So good. So they can pull stuff out of here. The, the forklifts and stuff can pull things out of there. And if they can't, you know, for some reason, they uh, they can't re reach this, which it's possible that doesn't work. But uh, for some reason, if that doesn't work, then this is not that far to haul, right? The trucks, just bring it around to there. That's a really short trip anyway, so. And it doesn't even really have to compete with a train because the train really only crosses here when it's made or when it needs adjusted, like maintenance or whatever, or expanded. So, like, whatever. So, our fuel is going up. Our bitumen is basically non-existent. I don't know why. It's probably because we're constructing. Yeah, we're using as we're delivering asphalt to stuff, maybe. Yeah, we've been delivering asphalt, that's why. So uh, it's okay though, because the train will take 100% of whatever it can get, basically. It, it sucked down 64 tons. <clears throat> there it is, 64 tons of bitumen, and then the 48 tons of fuel. Um, so it's not completely gone, right? We're still producing it. It's just that at, the, at this moment, the train is sucking out all the excess. So as soon as the train leaves, this will start uh, going up again, I would hope to see. And the train is done. And off it goes. And bitumen, are we are we are we making it? I need to get more workers in here, man. There it is. Yep. I need to get more workers. I need to get more resources. I need a greater, more glorious Soviet Republic. Guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. A subscribe if you haven't already. And you know what? You can just throw tips. 
That's fine. You could throw little tips in. That's cool. Uh, I just I don't be surprised if I don't necessarily use them right away. You know, it's just kind of the way it is. I'm, I'm way ahead of you, and uh, that's intentional. I want to be way ahead of you guys. So uh, take care. We'll see you. Bye-bye.